everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany, and if you just so happen to stumble across my channel, I do focus on fashion, beauty, and hair. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content. So today's video is going to be a super exciting one. I am going to be collaborating with my girl Janae over at High Low Lux. And Janae is just everything, you guys. You will love her content. She does an amazing job. And she's really encouraged me over the past like few weeks to just show you guys the things that I want to show you guys and just evolve the way that I feel like I have and not feel like I'm stuck in kind of like a rut. So today we will be discussing our five most used luxury items and also our first luxury purchase and some lessons that we've learned along the way. So if you are interested in that video, stick around. So my first luxury purchase um, was a pair of Christian Louboutin Pagal pumps, the old style. And I have an old, old, old video on those shoes way back in the day. But my first luxury handbag purchase was a Gucci Soho bag you guys and I'll put a picture right here to show you guys what it looks like um, I think this was in 2011 or something like that and I went to look for you know just I don't know I just really wanted to spend some money so I went into Louis Vuitton and I went into Gucci and looking at Louis Vuitton back then I was like all of these bags are canvas and I'm gonna be spending the same amount as I would a full-on leather bag from Gucci so I decided to go with the Gucci handbag. Okay guys, so just a little bit of backstory. I've always been into fashion and brands and designer things. Um, my mom and my grandmother, they started this when I was very young. So I grew up, you know, seeing Louis Vuitton coach, you know, Dooney and Burke, a little bit more on the lower scale. Um, and then of course, as I got older, I started to love the Chanel's and the, you know, higher brands. So um, my first handbag was a Gucci Soho hobo bag. And I'll show you guys a picture right here. Um, I got that bag in red. Now my thought process in getting that bag was, I originally wanted a Louis Vuitton. So I went into Louis Vuitton and I was like, all of these bags are canvas and they cost the same amount or more than the Gucci bag that I had already saw. Keep in mind, you know, I was not looking for that Gucci bag. So I kind of talked myself out of buying the Louis Vuitton because I was like, I can get a full leather bag for the same price, you know, leather versus canvas. I'm just, you know, it's like a no brainer at that time. Also, um, I've always been attracted to small handbags, but again, I thought for the price, you should get more bag depending on how much money you spend. So if you spend a lot of money, you should get a bigger bag. Don't ask me why, but that's just how I thought back then. So I picked up the bag and I carried it for around maybe six to seven months. And then after that, it just kind of sat in my closet. So I decided to sell that bag on Poshmark and I think I sold it for like $800. So pretty much a little bit of nothing. And, um, yeah, it was just kind of like an out of sight, out of mind thing. So I didn't mind receiving that amount for the bag. But looking back, I definitely should have sold it for a higher you know, price. So after that, I've always still wanted the LV bag. But again, I was into small handbags. So a few years later, maybe what, 2015, I decided to go into the Louis Vuitton store to pick up that delightful that I've been wanting. And I think it... It started out as an artsy, I'm sorry. And then I decided to get the delightful because the artsy strap was a, just a bit too stiff for me. So, and they had discontinued the one that I wanted. So I decided to go in and get that delightful, picked up the delightful, and it sat in my room for, I don't know, a week and a half in the bag, in the box, untouched. So I decided, you know what, get the bag that you wanted. And I did tell a similar story to um, this on my Alma BB unboxing. And that brings me to one of my first and my like most used bags ever, which is my Louis Vuitton Alma BB in the Damier Abin. So here is my Louis Vuitton Alma BB, and this is one of my most used handbags. 
I love this bag so much when I saw it, but I just thought it's too small again for the price that I'm going to pay. And this was $1,200, so I was like, I can get something else, something bigger. And I think the Delightful was like 11 so I was like, no, I'm not going to get this. But when I took that Delightful back, I just, I had to get this bag because I just could not get it out of my head. And I've always been into small bags, so I really should have went with my first thought the first two times, you know. But um, I did not. So when I got this bag, you guys, I've literally carried this bag multiple times a week since I've received this bag, or not received, since I bought this bag, which was in 2015, I wanna say. So I've been carrying this bag religiously, you guys, and I love it so much. And still to this day, it looks amazing. I'm so glad that I got the Damier Event. I just feel like it looks, um, it holds its value and the look a little bit longer than the, um, the monogram because of the patina and all of that. So I do have a few hairline scratches around the base, and but it's just, you know, it's well worn, it's well used, and I love it, and I will continue to use this bag for years to come. It's one of my favorites, and it's small, but um, compared to the small bags that are out now, this is a decent size, but I love this bag so much. And I do have my um, Pochette Matisse strap on here because I use this strap for something else that I'm gonna show you. So this is my top most worn luxury item and I love it so much. So I say all that to say that one of my biggest lessons that I learned when purchasing um, high dollar items and designer things, get what you love. It does not matter what other people say. It does not matter if they feel like it's a classic. It does not matter um, you know, if someone else feels like you get more bang for your buck or whatever. Get what you absolutely love and you will use it over and over again. So my next most used luxury item kind of goes with my Damier Bean and I was converted when I purchased this item, okay? So it's actually not one, but it's three items, you guys. And let me remove this strap because this is my um, Alma BB strap that I've just put on my little pouch here. So the first, I say they're all as one because they are small, you know, leather goods or luxury goods, but the first one is this one. This is my clay or key pouch, and I love this so much. When I bought that handbag, it was one of my first small bags, so I knew I had to downsize my wallet. So I picked this up to put all of my cards and everything in, and I like this, even though it's four keys, I like that it had a zipper, and I wasn't a fan of the zippy wallet, um, nor was I a fan of just the card cases because I couldn't put, fit as much in there. This was the best purchase of life. I literally carry this every day. It goes in any and every handbag, no matter how big, no matter how small. And I don't even use wallets anymore, you guys. I have Louis Vuitton wallets just sitting up in my closet because I don't need them. I use my cards and they all fit perfectly in here, okay? I love this so much. Literally use this every single day. So because I love this one so much, I had to pick up the um, multicolor one as well. Now this is the Murakami multicolored, um, I guess they call this a clay as well or a pouch. This one is a lot bigger than this one and I found this one pre-loved because I've always loved this print. I don't know why they stopped doing it. It's so girly, it's so cute and it just kind of puts me in that Hello Kitty mode um, and it reminds me of my childhood but I love this so much. So I found this on TradeZ and I got a really good deal on it and I just love it so much. So right now I'm using this one because it's spring, so you know spring colors. And the pink on the inside is just so gorgeous and it holds everything I need. I like the size of this one and yeah, it's just so perfect. I love it so much. And also this pouch here, I picked this up in the Damier bin. This one has been sold out forever. I also got this one pre-loved off of Poshmark and I got this for $300 and I think it's retailing for $310 but so many people were like selling it for four and five hundred dollars so I picked this one up and I did know that you know because I've had the Damier Ben I knew this would last as far as like the pattern and everything and it looks it's in pristine condition I've had this for about a year and I use this all the time I even take this um, with me when I'm going out and I don't want to carry a purse you can carry it like this 
or you can throw it in some of your bigger bags or you can use it as like a small makeup bag which is what I tend to use this for. So all three of these are used on a daily basis and I just interchange them throughout my handbags and I love them so much you guys. Now my next most used luxury item is a clothing item and this is my infamous Gucci t-shirt. It's filthy right now you guys. This t-shirt is filthy. I literally was wearing this shirt last summer probably four times a week it was that serious and I debated over and over and over again if I wanted to get this because the women's t-shirt which is the one that I got with the flower on the back it retailed for $590 and I was like a t-shirt for $590 I'm not sure but I just kept seeing it and I love graphic tees and I thought this was the perfect graphic tee and it's just it's perfect so I love it so much I wear it all the time and I need to pull it back out this season but it needs to be dry cleaned okay because it's filthy but I love this t-shirt so much and this was a good buy I definitely got my cost per wear out of this t-shirt for real so excellent buy love it still it's I still love the design it's classic yet vintage it's just perfect I love it now my second to last item is another handbag and this is the YSL, I don't even know what this is called, but I guess it's a wallet on a chain. Um, I love this bag so much. It is like a smooth leather. I love the gold detailing in this tassel and this beautiful gold chain, you guys. It is the perfect clutch. You can kind of dress it up or down, but the gold and the black contrast is just so luxe on this. So even when you do have on jeans and a t-shirt and maybe like some Gucci loafers or something, this looks so luxe and so good. Like it's just so beautiful. The chain really makes this bag and this tassel. And also it's a perfect clutch for going out at night. So anytime you need to go out, you know, and get you a little black clutch, this is the one that I grab. I mean, it's perfect. And it fits a decent amount in here because I have a Gucci wallet on a chain that's way smaller than this, but this one is just so perfect. There's room for my cards. There's another like zip pouch here. So to me, it's actually like just a small little handbag, not so much a wallet on a chain, but it's beautiful. I love this one so much and I can still get a ton more wear out of this. Now, I do like the smooth leather, but it does scratch up a bit. So you have to be a little bit careful, but I mean, you get your cost per wear out of it. So I think it's worth it. Beautiful handbag. And last but not least, I have my Chanel double flap in the medium size. And this is like the beige eclair, I want to say it's called. I got this off of Tradesy and this handbag is just so classic. I mean, we all know Chanel is classic. So it's never gonna go out of style, but this color in particular, I've been loving in the summer and in the warmer months. I will say for me, I'm more of a dark, you know, black bag type of girl. The Louis Vuitton to me acts as a black bag, that, that print. But this one is great for spring and summer. And I've been loving pairing this with like my all white looks. So, and I love wearing all white. And I also, for some reason, I prefer the silver. Um, hardware on this instead of the gold now I do think the gold is beautiful but I think that because this beige, this beige is a little bit more mature in my opinion um, the silver kind of makes it a little bit more young and fresh that could just be me but I love this bag and it was in pretty good condition it does have like color transfer on the back but I'm okay with that because I got a really good deal on Tradesy for this I think it was like 2800 or something, maybe 27 So I'm loving this handbag right now. So this summer, this is definitely one of my most used. Okay guys, so that concludes my most used luxury items video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I love every single item that I showed you guys and they are literally worn on a daily basis. And I interchange them all the time. Um, I don't change up my bags too, too often because I do work a nine to five. So I kind of am cognizant of, you know, just bringing a lot of different handbags into work. But on the weekends, that's when I have fun and I switch out my bags. But 
these are my most used they're the most understated but also just they can elevate your looks as well so i love them so much let me know in the comment section some of your favorite and your most used luxury items as well or any that are on your wish list i would love to uh share with you guys my wish list because it's probably like 10 feet long but yes i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and i will talk to you on my next video bye